So I don't know if you're familiar with the mainstream media's coverage of Bernie Sanders' campaign, but it's super shitty. Including NPR. <laughs> Including NPR. Super, super not good. But Robert was listening to NPR today. What they do to Bernie Sanders? They very happily repeated the Daily News article uh, as as if it were true. You mean the Daily News article that tried to make it look like Bernie Sanders didn't have a grasp on how to break up Ex- the banks? Exactly. And so that was immediately, by the way, that story immediately debunked by, by New York Times and the Huffington Post, plus a lot of other places debunked it. Um, including Robert Reich, we debunked it here on this show because we were showing you Carol Costello was forwarding that same story already debunked and the Bernie Sanders supporters stuck. And then here we are a week later, NPR Today still forwarding that already debunked story from the Daily News. By the way, Daily News, not a good newspaper. No one should ever, (laughs) ever forward a story from there. So that's what it's so here. So now let's go over to the Washington Post. Now, you know, the Washington Post has been, they got caught. They got caught writing 16 negative headlines for Bernie Sanders in less than 16 hours, right? So it's all these people have done all those stories. They had them all. 16 completely negative headlines in a row, by the way, without a positive one. And um, I believe that was after, even after, a, wasn't it after one of his victory? It was after he won a bunch of, anyway, here is the Washington Post. There was a big flap. Uh, late last week and over the weekend about whether Bernie Sanders said Hillary Clinton was unqualified because Hillary Clinton first refer uh, at her surrogates referred to Bernie as unqualified. She was asked, asked directly if he was. She hemmed and hawed, which, first of all, I can't believe this is a scandal. I can't believe anybody gives a shit if someone, of course, they don't think they're qualified. That's why they're running against them. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> it's okay to not think the person you're trying to run against isn't going to be good for the job. <laughs> so, but the Washington Post, this, but why do I bring this story up then? I bring it up, this non-story of his, uh, it, did Bernie Sanders say she was un- unqualified? Did Hillary say he wasn't qualified first? Well, he said it back and she said it first. <laughs> Good sport. Why do I bring it up? Because here is the Washington Post, which is, a, which is quickly turning into a piece of garbage. They, we know that they like to hire Republican political news reporters. And they really get to the heart of it. It says Clinton, and you can't see that, says Clinton questions whether Sanders is qualified to be president. That's the Washington Post. <laughs> That's on April 6th. You see right there, it says April 6th. Clinton questions whether Sanders is qualified to be president. That's a headline in the Washington Post. April 7th, the next day, what is the headline? <laughs> Sanders incorrect that the Clinton called him not qualified for the presidency. Wow, maybe he got in trouble because he read your newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie Sanders taking what we print as fact check. Pfft, what an idiot. That's the Washington. That's the Washington Post. The Washington Post is is actually probably in the worst position possible to cover, to cover the Democratic uh, race because they are so inside the bubble. They of are so inside the. So they're going to be the voice of conventional wisdom most of all. And 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 the Washington Post, in broader pictures, is generally a good paper. But there is no one on that staff that's like going to basically their their evening cocktail parties that is hearing anybody challenging conventional wisdom that Hillary has this locked up. No one. The Washington Post is a generally a good newspaper, and the Hindenburg was generally a good flying machine. Hey. <laughs> Except for that one that one spark. But the way they've been covering the Bernie Sanders campaign, especially, has been like this. So uh we've we've caught they've been called out uh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> they say, hey, Clinton questions what? Oh, Sanders incorrect on that. That stuff we said, Sanders believed it. 